Hello everyone and welcome to Smooth Magic, your home on YouTube for all the chillest booster box openings. And it is my favorite time of the year, or month as it were be, where we get a bunch of new products. So we've got a bunch of new unboxing videos coming to you over the next uh, month here on Double Masters. To get us started we've got a little bit of a, you know, smorgasbord of stuff. Really just an appetizer. We've got a VIP edition Double Masters along with, uh, we've got 12 loose booster packs that we'll be opening. This will help us just kind of understand a little bit what's in the set here. We're going to put this off to the side and we'll open that one last. That's the one I'm most excited about. So let's go ahead and start with the, the packs here. Again, 12 packs here. This is half of a normal booster box. And, um, you know, one of the things I really like to do is save the, uh, the fronts here. I like to cut off the front here a little bit, and I insert these into a binder that has uh, all the sets I've opened. And, you know, flipping through those is, is really cool. So I like to kind of, you know, the first couple, take them out nice so they look presentable. So let's see, this is the first uh, pack of the Double Masters. And we'll just kind of put the commons and uncommons off to the side. I might flip through the first couple packs here just to see what we got going on there. Hers is mine, great, great card. All right, here we go. Now we've got the uh, uncommons. And here we go. The first rare is a Thought Seize. And the second one, an Ion Storm. Oh, and a foil. Castle's Toll Collector. Oh, two foils. The Heartless Pillage. Okay, and a, a Beast Token. So I think, if I remember right, each Double Masters pack does have a chance to have two Mythics. And then I guess they have two Foils? We'll see. Let's open up pack number two. And we'll skip through the uh, Commons and Uncommons. With Thopter Foundry for the Uncommon. Mirror Smith. Esperanza. Nice cool little jellyfish here. Moving on to our first. Ooh, we got a mythic here. Brea Ethereum Shaper. Very cool. It's like a, a wide range of colors there. There's a mythic. And a maze of if. Oh, I actually really like that artwork. That is really cool. Sort of reminds me here of the old Icy Manipulator. A little bit different, but uh, yeah, very reminiscent of that. That's cool. And then we got two foils. Okay. Ooh, and there's this tower foil. That's pretty cool. I like that, that moon here, or the sun there. It's one of the things I really enjoy the most about these magic cards is it's really the artwork. That's something you can uh, always appreciate, even on your own. You know, it's a little bit, a little bit difficult to play magic on your own. Um, but you know, you can always just look at the cards, enjoy the artwork. And again, that's one of my favorite things is just looking at the the beautiful art here. Okay, first rare we got open the vault. Duplicate. Got some <laughs> sci fi stuff going on here. Very interesting. And a Volkshock Gauntlet and a Riddle Smith, with the wolf being our uh, token there. So, so far, three packs in. Not bad. I, I really like the, that Urza's foil. I know it's not worth a lot, but it does look really cool. 
Ah yes, Friday Night Magic. Uh, back in my day, we used to actually go out and play magic with folks. Now, we're all contained inside. <laughs> One of these days, right? Okay. Hex Mage, Drowned in Sorrow, a Death Reap. Here we got the uh, Graven Cairns. A Skurstag High Priest? Okay. And foils, nothing too special. Ooh. That's kind of cool though. And large. Large cat there. I believe that was a. Uh, what was that last set? Core 2021 had. Was it Colossal Growth? Had the giant kitty cat. What was that like plus 11, plus 11? I do feel like dogs have always got the short end of the stick here. I think uh, Core 2021 is the first one I really remember there being a large dog presence. But yeah, cats tend to be the favored. Almost looks like a, a Karn here. Maybe that's what it's intended to be because it's a clone shell. The Imperial Cur Recruiter for our second Mythic. Voice of Resurgence. Any good foils? Nope, just a couple of common foils there. All right. We got our pack number six here. So far, really enjoying the cards. Uh, I imagine, you know, drafting this set would be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Chromatic Star, very cool artwork. I, th I feel like something like this in foil would just be amazing. Okay, going to the Uncommons. Nice purple and black there. We saw a lot of that purple in, in the Core 2021 Collector's Boosters as well. Very cool. Yeah, pure, pure, <laughs> pure Steel Paladin. Oh, that's a tongue twister. And a Grand Architect. So I'm sitting a, a little bit of a distance, you know, arms reach away from my cards, but I immediately can smell a very, very, um, I don't know if metallic is the right word, but it's the ink on here certainly smells different. Um, I, I do feel like also each of the uh, sets always has a different smell to it. Kind of weird, right? You got a fetid health, or second land. Oh, the Basilisk Collar. So, what's interesting here is this looks like it's on a dog. Maybe the intent is you put the Basilisk Collar on the dog, and that's what gives him the, the powers. I guess that makes sense. And uh, Marriott Lage for the token. Oop, almost lost that one. Versus Power Plant. Oh man, I love that artwork. I'm still a sucker for the old art, but this stuff is still very, very cool. Oh, the old is a charm, yes. <laughs> Definitely got some uh, fair play from uh, me on that. Back with the old is it drinks. Firelit Thicket. Almost looks like a this looks like a person here. Oh, like a tree person. Not great or good. No, this actually does look like a tree person. And that'll rattle. I remember seeing a lot of those in previous sets. Alright, so the next couple packs here have been a little bit weaker. Just love to love to get into a nice pull here. A nice foil mythic or something. Oop. There's something real, real interesting to, to finish up the couple packs here. There we got the Enlarge again, non-foil of course, and the Pentad Prism. A Ravenous Trap for 
for our first rare and a glimmer void for the uh, second one. So this one seems like a, a very popular land for uh, artifact commander decks. Alabaster Mage. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the art here reminds me of a, what was that that guy that would salt his meat very interestingly. Kind of got that like curvedness thing. And we did get a foil rare open the vaults. I'm not sure the value of this one. If that's a good pull or not. Uh, to be frank, I don't know what a lot of the cards are in the set. I, I really enjoy coming in here and kind of being surprised with what's going on. Of course, I know there's the Jace and the Force of Will. Uh, Buried Ruin? That's that's really cool. A sort of trap room. The Ratchet Bomb. Okay, a Noble High Arc. All right, that is a great, great pull right there. Yes, I did remember that she was in here. That's nice. A mirror retriever, a cranial plating, and a news for the foil, or for the token. All right, we got two more packs here of our first 12 of Double Masters, and then we're gonna tear into that VIP. I'm super excited to look into that, see what's going on there. Oh, Mishra's Factory, all right. Yeah, I'm not sure about the artwork here. It's, uh, I don't know. I'll have to look at that a little bit more. I, I th do think the um, originals are awesome. And also the originals have the different the different uh, seasons, right? Like winter, summer. Um, and I think this one only has the one. We got another clone shell. Ooh, a blood moon. Yeah, very cool. And that Koldotha Forge Master. Like six different arms there or something. And a corridor monitor and a Sphinx of the Guild Path. Alright, so we got our last uh, last pack of the first 12 we're going to be opening up. A Fulminator Mage. Oh man, that's cool. You know, 16 year old me would die for that, <laughs> that artwork. And, uh, you know, 38 year old me still thinks that's pretty cool. And an Angel of Thune. Oh, Archangel of Thune. Whenever you gain life, you put a plus one plus counter on each creature you control. Whoa. All right. I think that's more or less the same cost of the Sir Angel. I think the Sir Angel is like four and a white. I can't really remember. Seems like that one's pretty good. And nothing here for our foils. All right. So last up, we've got our double masters here. I'm just going to set this stuff off to the side a little bit. I do have a, a little box cutter here. We're going to just... You know, do this sort of thing. Put that off to the side. And just kind of unwrap this, just like that. All right, um, you know, here's the back here. Uh, there's some kind of caveats with this, and I'll get into this some later videos where, so the it does say that you have a chance for two mythics, but that is incorrect. You actually only have a chance for one mythic. We'll go into some of that in, in later videos when we open up some more of these VIP packs. Okay, opening this up. There's a you know, foiling on the inside here. And interestingly enough, it's really just a, a pack here. You know, there's nothing else going on in here. So. The other thing that's a little scary is that you can technically move the cards around here. So like if you're a shady individual, you can kind of peek at like what you're getting. So there's there's ways to actually, um, you know, 
take the product, open it up, look at it. If you don't like it, return it. Reseal with glue. All right, so here we go, our first VIP masters. We're gonna set these uh, right all here. Just kind of flip through these real quick. It'll be a little bit longer video than usual, but uh, you know, it's cool to take some time to experience the first couple packs here. Clear shot. I'm just trying to make sure the lighting shows and kind of gets all the details here. Might need to readjust that a little bit. All right, so we go on to the uncommons. We have Manamorphous. Oh, Amisha's Factory. A treasure mage. All right, here we go. First, actually, do we go right to the rares? No, it's a couple more uncommons. A welding jar. Very cool. A burnstone volley. The lightning greaves, the bane of my existence when I play a commander. Seems everyone's got one of these. <laughs> it makes it difficult to play unless you have something that can target shrouded units. The dread return. It's got like a Cthulian thing going on here. All right, here we go. First rare is the pure steel, pure steel paladin, and the mirror battle sphere. All right, here we go. Here's where the money is. The next one is meddling mage, <laughs> of course. Of course, the meddling mage is going to make its first appearance. All right, and the next one is the mythic slot. So we have a, I think it's like a 1.4, one and four, something like that. One to four. I don't know. There's, there's a, some amount of chance to getting a nice card here. Uh, unfortunately, we did get a goblin guide. And of course, there's a bunch of lands here. Um, we have a swamp. So you have like two, two foil lands. And then you got a you know, token, two tokens, double sided. All right. So there you have it, everyone. That was our uh, double masters grab bag thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate you uh joining me for this uh first look at our double masters and uh until next time i want to wish everyone as always to have a smooth day